<laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> That's what it is! It's awesome! Look at it! It's so bright! <laughs> it's way better than I thought. We've been trying to think of something fun that we could do with our drones for the holiday and James had the idea to play with light painting, which is a really cool trick in photography where you can make streaks of light in a still image. We thought it'd be really cool to try to do like a holiday inspired design, maybe make a Christmas tree using our drones. Yeah, start in and just go nice and like lower to the ground, lower to the ground. We gotta light up our drone and thankfully we've got these really bright LED strips. We've got a whole bunch of different colors. I think we're just gonna go with red and green. Setting it up is gonna be super easy. Just power them off of a 12 volt power and ground wire. Okay, so these are 12 volts only. So we've 12 got volts. a 12 volt regulator. This one's pretty beefy. We're gonna try to squeeze it in here. I think um, I've got a buzzer on this duct. Yeah, just get rid of that. Sandwich between. Buzzers are the worst. Well, no, there's a spot on the other side. Okay. You can get buzzers rid of the buzzers. Buzzers are the best. Though. Buzzers are the best. I always get my quads back. The jury's still out. I always get my quads back. Those ducts are gonna give us a really great spot to put the LEDs. I think it's gonna look really cool because we're gonna be able to wrap around the prop disc. The drone's gonna look like something out of Tron. Whoa! So what's interesting is the green looks way brighter than the red. That looks cool, man. That's, that's freaking Christmas Tron. So I think in finding a spot, what we want is to find something that's gonna give us a point of reference to orbit so that we can make this cone Christmas tree shape. Honestly, I think it'd be hard to do a consistent orbit that gradually Now you got oh, it. I, no, I think it's hard. Yeah. Really? But you're P to X. He's, it's right. time. We've got our pole that we're gonna try and turn into a Christmas tree. We've got the camera set up. And now it's just gonna be a battle with the light, trying to get the right exposure and the right timing. I'm gonna do a test shot, and if it works out well, then hopefully we can get the drone up and go for it. What we're also gonna do is we're gonna try out on GoPro, special time-lapse mode that they added on this was the 11. The new 11, they just added a mode called light painting. They build all that stuff into the camera for you. It's smart about it, and I think it'll actually animate the movement. This could end up being really, really cool. Start pretty tight, like tighter than you think. Like that's good, but get lower. Lower. Yeah, that's a good height. Hold that height for a while. That's good. That's good, yeah. Now shoot for like kind of the middle of the pole. You should be no higher than the middle. Super tight up top, super tight up top. Got it there, up, 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 just go straight up. There we go. <laughs> and I don't fly in front of the camera. The timing, we nailed it in terms of like doing the minute long here. Oh, so you get a minute on the camera to do your thing. Gotcha. Can you guys see this? Like it's just green in there. That's what, that's what you see. That's how bright those LEDs are. That's, like, that's this it. looks really cool. You just gotta keep it tighter. Like oh, down. that's sick. Oh, you, yes. You just blew a little out the bit, middle. Just that little bit right there. That really I mean, that right? looks sick. So honestly, just the whole time, think about keeping yeah. it tighter than you think. Because like, as long as you are really tight at the top and slightly wider at the bottom, you'll get the effect. It's getting dark. Yeah. Low, tight, get tighter. Wide. That looks pretty freaking <laughs> good. Look cool. at this. That shot came out awesome. That was so cool. I was especially impressed with the light painting mode on the GoPro. That was a really nice surprise. That's such a cool feature they built in. Yeah, with the motion, it's like sick. Seeing it going around and actually seeing it happen in real time, that was awesome. Yeah, I mean, the original plan was just to get the still image. That came out cool, but getting to make this happen really took it to the next level. We had a great time with this. I think uh, there's gonna be a lot of cool things coming out of the community when they start playing with this, and I can't wait to see it. But guys, happy drone miss. We wish you guys the best in the new year. Hope you have a safe and amazing holiday with your family, and hopefully get some flying in. James got the shot, yada, yada, yada. If you wanna buy the... <laughs> I don't want, like, do I plug something here? It's your boy, Bubby Claus. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs>